Bangalore as a student in this campus of Andhra University. I joined as a mechanical engineering student in 1976, and then I started off with my M.Tech program. In fact, I was at the end of my M.Tech program when I was most fortunate enough to get a lecturer post in this department. See, I had a very humble and safe child. I was the precious girl child. My only restriction regarding my studies was I had to study only in Vishakhapatnam. So I had to study hard to get a seat in Vizag in engineering. And then I got a seat in engineering in Deepam College. <coughs> I graduated in uh, electronics and communications engineering in 1990 and did my masters at Andhra University. Uh, and later on, I did my part-time PhD. So it's total of 34 years of experience. I'm a professor now in Andhra University, and I never expected that I will be in this field because uh, when I am a student, I was a little hesitant to give seminars or talks, etc. But it was all God's grace what I am today. I can say it is all smooth. This is the most suitable profession for me with my abilities. No, not at all. No. No. Absolutely never I thought as a woman there is a setback. Never, never. I, I never felt that being a woman, uh, I, in, in fact, I felt privileged to being born as a woman <laughs> to my parents in this country. Generally, what you see as a woman outside, she is much different from what she is inside. You look that uh, there are no problems or uh, she will be representing differently, but internally there are many challenging challenges a woman faces both in the home front as well as in the workplace also. But uh, a woman always multitasks. I, I, I have always felt great that I, am, I, I studied engineering. I thank my parents for that. I never felt that I am less than anybody else. I will always feel I am on the top of the world. Personally, I don't have any such experiences. But one thing, uh, what I felt was this, uh, I just uh, wanted to go out, out of uh, my country rather. But if I, not a woman, but I was the only child, my father's uh, uh, like love or whatever it is, that restricted me. Wise, we were, you know, why should she get full marks? You know, if I did my exams very well, uh, we won't get good marks. A compromise between your career and your family that is a inevitable thing we have to face. Uh, things like the women's restrooms, those are not there. No, no one heard of women's restrooms those days. So literally, we used to run to the hostel. If we had to go and, and to the restroom, it was the hostel only for your thing. People we talk and debate, etc., tell that gender equality, and but 90%. 90% of the people, uh, gender equality, I don't believe it is there. <laughs> See, women empowerment and all that are just words. Yes. Don't believe in all that. Okay. You, yourself, you have to be empowered. Yes, there are, there are changes because opportunities and all have come because of the reservation which is given to the women by the government, etc. Because of the reforms which have gone through phases, there are changes definitely, but the mindset is almost the same. It is going on. <laughs> And also, not only that, physically also, there are some challenges for, for a woman. When she is married, uh, she has to want kids and all. So, there are other challenges also. Yeah, of course, my generation, there were a lot of disparities. We were not recognized at all. But things have changed a lot. Now, everywhere, we have, in fact, come equal to the men. Every company that I come across, when they come for placements, they want 50-50. See, you guys have to change. 
women are being placed along with the men to do the same type of job which the, the men are doing. These days, young women are quite vulnerable to several things. Uh, the most part of it is the technology, the social media, the friends they make on online. Uh, also they are quite vulnerable, most of it. Uh, but yeah, they can use the same technology to raise their levels in whatever way possible. Unfortunately, as per our social uh, thing, women should be a bit more uh, careful. I think recently you have seen one uh, actress, uh, who is a girl, Yes, Rashmika Mandana. She unfortunately she she was a prey to deep fake things. It is an it is an internal change that has to come within families. Nobody can force or suggest or instruct anyone. Nowadays, uh, men became more intelligent and they started taking care of uh, kids. <laughs> They are enjoying their life much better. Being a woman at home and workplace is quite challenging. It all depends on the support you get from your family members. And that is the most important thing I feel. When it comes to me, it's always a priority. So, I don't say it's a balance. I have fulfilled my duties as a professor in this university without any compromise. See, there is a saying, behind every man there is a woman, successful man. But I believe for a successful woman, the whole family should be, no doubt her determination. Yes, that comes first. Family support is another important If at all the family supports no, you need to want this. Very, very useful. Studies is just, you know, uh, one component of life. So it's just, just to gain exposure to different kinds of knowledge in different domains and maybe to some extent for a living. But then that's not enough for the whole personality. I tell you, it is one of my problems. Some sort of thing jealous when they when I see them playing with their kids, all types of games and all. And I will not be in a position to play even at the level of my grandchildren. <laughs> because I can't catch a ball properly. People have to equip themselves in all aspects. So they can go out for their hobbies, maybe singing maybe take up some career, uh, not just IT career, some kind of a career like this, what you're doing, or anything that interests you. Whenever my uh, grandson is doing maths, I was peeping into his book through WhatsApp. <laughs> some letters will be visible and some letters, I will be shouting on my daughter, move the camera, move the camera, etc, etc. Because I want to get involved in that, because I enjoy that. But if I am good at uh, games, sports, etc., etc., I would equally enjoy all those events, no? Now I will only sit and uh, observe. Likewise, all of them, uh, they should be trained uh, 360 degrees. The boys have to cook, the girls have to go and go out and do all the necessary things as well. You see the born as Independence and confidence. Being confident in your abilities. They love unconditionally. Women can do anything. Giving birth to kids and raising them. That gives us a lot of uh, happiness, satisfaction. We can give birth to animals. What more else you want? He is the one who 
runs this globe. If women are not there, there is no mankind. Some people, little men and women are both equal. That pushing doesn't come actually. See, men are men, women are women. Both of them, they have their own roles to play. Someone will come and someone will lift me up or ride me up. No. Don't believe in all such things. Being a girl, first of all, have confidence in yourself. Be confident, be dignified. Then rest it will fall. Do not let anyone tell you that you could not do something because you are a woman. See, in this digital world, there is no parity between a male and a female. Yeah. female. Yes. Zero, one, only. That's all. Character is important for both men and women. But while we were grown up and you people are knowing in this particular, it has been mostly taken that character is more important for women. Or for girls, no, that is not correct. It is equally important for both. You must all be bold. They have to take a career where they enjoy, not for money or not in order to satisfy the expectations of parents or somebody else. Whatever you do, no, you have to do with your purity. Whatever decision you take, good or bad, you just own that decision. So you should not blame others later on uh, saying, I wish I would have done this or that. But whatever decision you take, take it boldly and own it. It doesn't matter the job you take up, as long as you love it. If you enjoy the task that is expected to be done by the uh, profession that you have taken up, then even if you get slightly more or less, you should not bother about that. Because these are all short-term gains. The long-term gain is the job satisfaction and the pride you get uh, as a professional in that particular uh, field. And uh, finally, health is also important. Uh, staying fit and strong, doing a little exercise, Okay, it's also important I feel. But finally, the thing is like every moment uh, is a moment to experience. Just remember in life, uh, we have two extreme ends. The day we are born and the day we go. Those two moments we cannot own. But between those two points, every moment, every point is something which you should live, which you should experience and enjoy it. Be it a challenge, be it a success, enjoy it. That's it. Always my message to, I have been giving always to my students is think high and be on the top of the world. Okay, Chalo. Durga Bhai Desh Mukhi, Rip, thanks, Shapta. <laughs> <laughs>